oh, okay. But in obedience, he said, all right, I will. That lasted until 1970, until when it was that Brother John returned to Rancho and has been here ever since. And of course, since Brother John is only in his mid-40s now, <laughs> we can certainly count on Brother John being here for at least another, what do you think, 50 years? Long <laughs> will. you think so? 50? Dennis, 50? 60. At least? <laughs> All right. So for those 83 years, this has been such a wonderful oasis for boys in trouble. And it's good for us to remember that every boy that's here has gone through the criminal justice system in one way or another. In other words, you cannot just decide to walk down the driveway or have your mom and dad or somebody, you know, stop the car and drop you off at the gate and say, see you later, kid. No. So they've already been a little bit tested desperately in need of social skills, academic learning, structure and an awful lot of care and affection and love. That is what the ranch will be providing for them.
Brother John, I don't think you and I will be around 83 years. I don't think that's going to be possible. No, but maybe 50. <laughs> I think 50 per month. Okay, for me. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, in the image of the unseen God, be with you. Oh, for the spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we have genuine reason to rejoice because we are allowed to bless this image of St. Anthony and his son Christ's child. This image honors above all the truth that Christ is the visible image of the invisible God, the eternal Son of God who came down in the womb of the Blessed Virgin is the sign and sacrament of God the Father. As Christ himself said, he is the image of the Father. Therefore, as we honor this image of St. Anthony, Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, our wonderful Knights of Columbus, all of us that are friends of Rancho San Antonio. And may the Lord's blessing especially rest upon Brother John for his decades Amen. Work, and for the decades yet to come. Huh. All of the goodness he brings with the charism of Brother Andre and the brothers. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Guys, you're great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Father. Brothers, I'd like to, uh, well, thank you so much for coming out today. This is a wonderful, wonderful turnout for this dedication of this, this statue. You know, uh, as, as Richard said earlier, uh, and as Father mentioned, the Knights of Columbus have been part of this Rancho uh, San Antonio almost the very beginning. Uh, and 1953, but I think raised over $4 million. There's 17 of these facilities because of the Knights of Columbus. Uh, and 
we've helped with graduation. How many graduates did you say? Did I heard oh, 15,000. Well, at least 10, let's put it that Yeah, okay. At least 10. Uh, wonderful. But you know, what we do as Knights of Columbus, this is a classic example of what we do as Knights of Columbus. You know, Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 and 36. So I think you all know what that one is, right? It's when I was naked and you clothed me. I was hungry and fed me. Well, that's who we are as Knights of Columbus. We are out there taking their care of those who are in need. You know, what's our motto this year? Faith in action, we've been doing faith in action, but through COVID we've had leave no neighbor behind, leave no brother behind. And these young men that are here and they have been walking through this campus, we've never left them behind. We've never left them behind. You know, I'm here representing the State Council on behalf of our State Deputy, uh, Noel Panlilio, who's on his way to Marysville to do another charitable event. Uh, you know, this year, his motto is, we shall rise again. And what a tribute that we have here in this statue, which was vandalized, destroyed, had no idea how it was going to be reinstalled or reconstructed. Well, a way presented itself. And look, we shall rise again. We shall rise again. And Father Mike, on behalf of our state deputy, I'm going to present you and Brother John. Brother John, the, the mainstay of Rancho San Antonio. This is our pen that we have, and if you look at it, it's got oh, blessed lady. Right? And it says down to the bottom, we shall write the pen. Good. And it's got the principles, the four principles that are in the compass, charity, unity, fraternity, faith, and around it. So just, if I may, pin this on you. Carver? No blood yet. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't do the Indian seal thing. Well, I'm going to have to hold this because I can't get to the bottom. Thank you, Father Mike. Thanks for all you do. And Brother John. Yes. Here's your thing. Our brothers, thank you again for coming out today. It's been an honor to be here, part of this tribute, the dedication of the statue. God bless. Be the Jesus. Thank you. Be the Jesus.